Greg, it's good to see you here. Good to see you, Jim. We're here today at NAOP's Chapter Leadership and Legislative Retreat, which is a great time to introduce the strategic plan with over 300 of our key leaders from the chapters here today. You're right, Jim. There's a real excitement in the air here. The markets are really strong, business is thriving, and everyone should be very excited right now in the real estate industry. We're embarking upon a three-year plan that has five points to that plan, and this should be the foundation year to get everything started. As this year's chairman of NAOP, one of my main goals is to provide a return on investment for all of our members. We now have over 19,000 members. There's never been a better time to be a part of this powerful network of real estate development and investment professionals. Well, Jim, as you know, there are five strategic drivers for our strategic plan. One of the first is talent development. It's very important for our industry to create a pipeline of talent, both through diversity and inclusion, as well as just bringing new people into the business. We're working with collegiate resources and programs in order to help affect that. And we're also working with developing leaders to have them be more actively engaged in creating that pipeline. Invented knowledge is also one of the key pillars of the strategic plan. Now, I've challenged staff to make sure that the research, the publications that we have, the various events, provide real-life examples that our members can use to help support them in their careers and advance their business. Agree. And the third pillar of our strategic plan is on the legislative front. The Tax Reform Act obviously was a huge win for our industry and certainly for NAOP. And we need to keep our members active and engaged because we know there will be new things to come in the future. Our legislative team is also working with the chapters to visit state capitals and work on the issues that are facing each of our chapters at both the state and provincial levels. And we want to collect all this information so that all of our chapters and all of our members can learn from these shared experiences. Our 51 chapters are the lifeblood of this organization. We need to continue to enhance the value proposition and potentially look for other markets to expand into. And we really want to hear from the chapter leaders how NAOP can better support their efforts. That's great, Jim. And as my role as chairman-elect, I'm really focused on the organization's resiliency and working with the NAOP staff in order to make sure that our future is bright. Greg, I'm really looking forward to 2018, working with our chapter leadership, the staff at NAOP, and the overall leadership to advance the strategic plan for the benefit of all of our members and our chapters. Thanks, Jim. I look forward to it as well.